Hi, I'm an Australian living here in Belarus and today I want to talk about scammer girls because guys seem to be very, very paranoid about being ripped off. Now, two things before I start. One is there's not a lot of scammer girls here. It's not like some of the neighboring countries that you may have experienced. Belarus isn't quite like that, you know, a little bit of it in Minsk, but it's not really scammer girl central or anything like this. Now, second thing is, let's just define what scammer girl means. Scammer girl means a girl who has no genuine interest in you at all. She has no interest in you as a person, none, none. She just wants to meet with you for financial benefit. That's it, buy her stuff, take her out places, but she actually has no romantic interest in you at all. That's a scammer girl. So you're going out there thinking it's a date, but it's not, it's just a payday for her essentially, right? I'm gonna make the assumption that you are swimming in that horrible swamp called Tinder. Don't swim there, it's horrific. It will give you persistently horrible outcomes and horrible life experience. Delete the app, but I know you're probably still on there. And of course, I'm gonna then focus this video on what it's like and what happens when you meet this kind of scammer girl on this particular application. Let me cover a couple of very basic things first. You should know this, and if you don't, uh-oh. First of all, what will happen? Okay, you're swiping, you get a fair idea of what your market value is on this app, right? You have a sense of who you match with, who you won't, who's about right, who's out of your league, and vice versa. You get a match with a young girl who's 20 to 25, and this girl might not be that beautiful, she might be, but she has invested so much in herself, yep. She has made herself look far more desirable than she naturally would be. So she probably has perfect long straight hair, very sexualized clothing, probably has lip filler, probably has excessive makeup, etc., etc. So the girl that does this, she is looking for a return on her investment. She sees herself as an asset. Her physical appearance is an asset and her dividends, her return from that asset is you. Yep, make that very clear. So you should know that just in general. The more she does this, the more she wants from you. Uh, particular things in return, often it's money, but not always money. And this brings me to the core of this point. This is what the conversation will look like. So you match with her, it's like, wow, this girl's hot. Cool, um, what will I say? Something really original. Hi, how are you? She's like, I'm good, how are you? And you'll go back and forth maybe three or four times. It's kind of mundane, predictable crap. And then you'll be like, hey, you want to meet, right? And she's like, yeah, let's meet at Fabrique at 6 p.m. tonight, right? This is kind of how the conversation goes. <clears throat> so this girl is going to come and meet you, and she knows nothing about you. Yeah, it's a really important concept. She knows nothing about you, but she's going to come and meet you. So what does that mean? She has no interest in you, buddy. No genuine interest in you at all. She has interest in the benefit she's gonna get and that benefit is the dinner and the entree and the exotic drink and dessert that comes with it. So ask yourself, why is she meeting me? Do we have something in common? Are we well matched in some way? Is there a reason why she's meeting me and not the thousand other dudes that are chomping at her heels? Why, why, right? It's not because of you. If you've had three lines of conversation, it's not because of you. This is not 100% foolproof. There are some girls that will invest a little bit more just trying to trick you, but as a general rule, this helps a lot and helps you think about what's going on because this stuff's not that complicated yet. Yeah? It's pretty primal. It's pretty like low level stuff. Now, if you have been in this situation many times, you go out for the dinner, you pay for everything, but she has no real interest in you at all. The conversation is very surface level, yeah? She doesn't ask much about you. She might ask, how was your day, right? But there's no real probing questions. She's not trying to get at anything. She's just providing pleasant company. And I've actually interviewed a girl who I would consider to be a dinner girl. And she explained it to me. It was interesting to hear her justify it. She explained it to me that she's providing a beautiful girl with and a good experience to a man. Therefore, it's worth uh, having the meal paid for, even though she has no real interest in him. It's really interesting to see her kind of rationalize it even though if she said to the guy hey this is the deal i'll just be nice to you and you pay for everything but we're not dating there's no chance of romance so right? that's the key point 
There's no chance of romance. She has no potential interest in you. So on to the final point that I want to make. If you find yourself in this position, if you've met up with a whole lot of these girls in a row, and you kind of got that empty, used feeling, if that's how you're feeling, and you're paranoid about this, and you're annoyed about this, guess what? You're kind of the male equivalent of her. Yeah, so you're rushing the date. You just want to meet anyone that will come out because you don't care about her. Like, she doesn't care about you either. You don't care about her. You just want to bang her. But of course, you're also being dishonest because you're taking her on a date, right? When all you want is sex. So you're both kind of scamming each other. You're trying to be the fake boyfriend. She's trying to be the fake girlfriend. But all she wants is money and financial benefits. And all you want is sex, right? And I know this because... If you keep going out with these girls, it means that you're not screening them or engaging them or getting any sense of what kind of girl they are either. You're just rushing them out, trying to get them out so you can try and bang them. I want to refrain from judgment here. I'm actually not judging either side here. Do what you want to do. Just be honest about it. Both sides are being dishonest. You're trying to be romantic, nice guy, so you can get no pants. Again, with no genuine interest in her. She's trying to be nice, pleasant, feminine, pretty girl just to get all the free benefits and she has no interest in you. So you see the equivalency here, it's really obvious. The issue is neither of you are being straightforward and honest about this. You can do this if you want, right? But the girl needs to be honest. Hey, I don't actually like you. I'm just gonna hang out with you and uh, get free stuff from you. But I'm gonna make you feel good, I'm gonna look good, right? And if you're a guy, you have to be honest. I'm not dating you. There's no hope of a relationship here. I just wanna have sex with you, right? And then it's fine, yeah? Obviously do this in a more civil way, a less direct confronting way, but this is kind of what you'd want to do to make it more honest and make it more genuine and you'll stop getting scammed. So I find this situation super ironic because the scammer is also getting scammed. You're both getting scammed, right? So what you need to do if you're a guy and you keep getting scammed by dinner girls is you need to screen better for what you actually want. If you're just wanting sex, then screen for girls that want just sex, right? If you want to actually date, then find out about the girl first. What are your criteria for a girl you want to date? Find it out before you meet. And by going through this, you'll work out that she's a dinner girl and you won't get scammed anymore. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed that video. Good news is I've got a whole lot of other videos that cover similar topics and all kind of cultural topics related to Belarus because it is such an unknown and uncharted beast. If you want some more advanced material, do consider checking out my website, marriedinminsk.com.